so, it's finally the month of the biggest anticipated game of the year. And it's here, it is for sure, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes, Kingdom Hearts 3 is out this month. I have it, you'll see it at some point in the video, but it is fucking good to have it here like literally and yet i'm probably never going to show this freaking keyblade off again <laughs> i just wanted to show this off because i had no other reason to show off this keyblade other than today so <laughs> um yeah that's, that's this one's metal it's actually real <laughs> uh it doesn't kill people i'll say that it doesn't kill people but um i could for sure open up some keys and some doors, and now let your heart free. That's not how it goes. But okay, anyways, regardless, this is the Pickles video for February uh, 28, whoa, 2019. I'm sorry about that. No, not in February, we're in February now. Sorry, January of 2019. First pickups of the year. So when I recorded the videos for, uh, well, yeah, when I recorded the video for December pickup for 2018, um, I actually did do one more purchase throughout the year. It was like the 30th, I believe. So I'm throwing it into this month because, well, I didn't show it in last month because that's kind of my fault. So I'm going to show off the Keyblade at the end of the video or who knows because I love my Keyblade. <laughs> so let's go show you off all those games. Maria! Get a load of this. So, first we have here is a game called uh, Rondo of Swords. I don't know anything about it. It's by Atlas from Nintendo. Or, it's by Atlas on the DS. I mean, you know what I mean. So, I, I think I have for like five. I don't 100% remember. But it was something like that. Uh, next, here is a game, again, I never heard of. It is a game called uh, Hoshigi... Hosh, Hoshagami... Hosh, I don't know how to say it. Hoshigami... Ru Ruining Blue Earth Remix. <laughs> Literally, that's the name. And I'm surprised that the remix part uh, is not by Square Enix, but yeah, it's by uh, Arc System Works. Uh, Axis Games. Not exactly Arc System Works, but it's Axis Games. Um, next one is. Ooh, sorry. Kind of burped really weird on that one. It is Mega Man Star Force Leo. Ooh, Leo. Got it for like $7. Dollars or something like that. Sorry, I'm burping like right now. I don't know why I'm hiccuping as well on my mind. Mm. So yeah, that that is the thing. Star Force Leo. I think I got that for like I said, seven dollars or so. I don't, don't remember hundred percent, but something like that. Next, we got here is Monster Hunter Stories for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, I realize that I'm releasing so many 3DS games now that I feel like it's a good opportunity for me to start collecting 3DS games because I am done with the Wii U. Other than I have now realized after making that I am officially done with the Wii U uh, video, I actually do need one more game, which I didn't even know came out for the Nintendo Wii U. So, North American, one more game. What is it? It is Darksiders or Master. Warhammer, whatever, edition, that one, and that's it. So, other than that, uh, Monster Hunter Stories, uh, got it for $20 at a pawn shop. I was actually kind of surprised because this game still goes for like 30 uh, something dollars at GameStop and including other retro stores, so yeah, there's that one. Uh, next here we have is a sealed copy of Ultimate NES Remix. Now, here is a story why it was so cheap. Because it's I only got it for five dollars sealed. The story is is that 
Cheap Ass Gamer tweeted out and also put on a Facebook page saying that there's certain games that Target is uh, selling for $5 only on brand new and used titles if they had them. Um, I tried going for, I know, specifically two games I remember off the... No, three games now, actually, yeah. It was the main three games I remember trying to go other than this game because it was 20 before, so it was $20 all in one day. Uh, it was supposed to be Donkey Kong Country 3D Dream... Oh, just Dream Drops. Wow, mixing that up with Kingdom Hearts right now. Donkey Kong Country 3D Returns. Uh, yeah, Returns 3D, whatever you want to call it. For the, for the 3DS, uh, for five. And um, I found a copy, but it wasn't at Target. It was at Walmart, and I didn't know that Walmart does not price match anymore. So I tried to invest buying the same thing, didn't have one either. So, uh, I did the same thing for the other two, by the way. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D uh, for the 3DS. Yes, the new, that one was literally a $5 game, and it's only available on the website if there is any. If there's any in-store, please get it. And then I didn't find a luck even finding it at any of the stores. Uh, GameStop would, yeah, but they don't price match after their own company. So I was like, again, another price match issue. The next one uh, was... This was the biggest one of all for me. It was uh, Shimigani Tenzai for uh, Apocalypse. I 100% wanted that game. I was actually like really wanting it and no one had it. So, same thing. Couldn't find a single copy of it. You, a game stop I could, but again, no, no price match. So, that's why I got this one. Um, this one I actually got from Best Buy because Target themselves didn't have it anymore. They had, like Luigi's Mentioned Dark Moon, Legend of Zelda, uh, like, Link Between Worlds, Ocarina of Time 3D, Mario Kart 7. A few of those good titles were $5 only. I already own a lot of those games. Yes, I could have bought it to resell it later, but I didn't think that. I was on a time frame. It was like a Sunday afternoon thing. So. And, they all, and all sorts closed early on Sundays for me. So, so yeah, Ultimate NES Remix. Um, I just probably never going to really honestly open it. I do already own this game on the Wii U. Uh, but I know this one has a little bit more content. So, Well, I don't know. Next... Here. Oh, no, not that. Well, that's something I actually got in February. Sorry. Or February. Yeah, February. Okay. This, this is Kingdom Hearts related. I actually got this at the uh, last day of January. Um, I went to the Swamp Meet. Yes, I went to go see the Swamp Meet before anything, and it was actually a pretty good day, even though it was cold. Um, I found a Kingdom Hearts uh, action figure, it says, and I've actually never seen it. This is the only reason I bought it. And it was only one left, and I didn't know it was a a, a Walgreens exclusive. This is t uh, Sora from the Timeless uh, Adventure. What's it called? It's uh, it's from oh the Timeless River, the uh, that that world. Uh, so there was other figures. I didn't see Goofy at all. There was uh, Roxas, but he looked weird to me. So I got this one. I thought it was neat. I thought it was different because you know you can find Sora and literally any figure kind of right now. Back in the day when they made these type of things, it was kind of more exclusive. I do have my own sort of figure somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, it's way over there. Uh, yeah, you can see that white box right there I'm pointing at right now. That's a Sora figure. You can't really tell. Maybe you can. I don't know. But uh, this one, oh, by the way, that, that is the, not Valor, the uh, the white outfit. I like Valor, but it's uh, Mystic? I, I don't remember. But still, this is the Timeless River uh, of Sora. So, for $4, by the way, $4. Okay, I didn't realize I had a freaking receipt right there still. So, these ones, these are guidebooks. Now, if you don't know, and I want to update you guys a lot, because a lot of people actually don't know. They do know in the back of their head, but they just didn't know it's happening now. So, Prima is going under. If you don't know what Prima is, Prima is the strategy guide people that make every single strategy guide possible, as much as possible. Um, they are going under. They officially announced their final run of Prima guidebooks they'll be making. And the final one I believe they're making is Anthem. Anthem comes out in March. So, if you don't know, please go to every single GameStop possible every single week. I don't know what, when, Friday, Saturday, whatever. Go to every single GameStop and ask what guidebooks are free. Specifically say what guidebooks are pennied out. Like a penny. I'm seriously, yeah. Like, that's what it's called. So, uh, all these were technically pennied out. Basically saying they can't sell it more because it's a penny now. Or you, if they try to sell it for a penny, just freaking buy it. It's a freaking penny. But, um, 
the first one I 100% wanted was Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Of course I loved uh, Crash Bandicoot. It was the one I grew up with. Um, Trilogy-wise, but I sucked at the first game. I still suck at the first game. And I don't like completing a game because it's fucking hard, but I love 2 and 3. And I was Byro. I only played 1. I experienced 2 or 3, so... I'm telling you, I'm a Crash Bandicoot fan. I was in Spyro as much other than the first game. <laughs> so, yeah, Spyro Crash, ah, Crash Bandicoot Instant Trilogy Guidebook on the Switch specifically, but it works same ways. Works same ways. Okay. Next, this is just a regularly just just a simple well, book. It's a simple book. This book basically uh, tells you about just cheat codes and secrets and stuff for mobile games. Mobile games. Yep. You might see Charger on there because uh, there's probably some things about that somehow I don't even know of. Or someone that looks like Charizard. I don't know. Maybe it's not Charizard. We got like Angry Birds 2, um, Biting of Isaac, Candy Crush, Cat Quest, uh, Clash Royale, uh, see Fruit Ninja. Remember that one? Gal no. Uh, Gunstar Vegas, Gems of War, um, Legend of Grimlock, Minecraft, you know. Uh, Same ones only I know. Roblox, Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch, uh, Temple Run 2, uh, World of Goo, World of Tanks Blitz. There probably there's more in here, but that's just a majority. And this is some of those I actually kind of really like. And I got it for, again, for free. Alright, next up is Mega Man 11. Uh, this one is for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch and PC. This is a hard book cover, cover, and of course, is made by Prima. Prima, you know, um, it's like I said, it's really sad to see Prima just like uh, making the books, not making much money off them. And I mean, I like collecting guy books. I have a whole section below just guy books related itself, but even I know that it's, they're dying out. But it, it's always something I always like to collect for. Um, that's just my specialty. Uh, collected for Gaia books, but it's hard to find them every once in a while. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, Mega Man 11. I got this, I gave this to like two of my friends, and they love Mega Man. So, Mega Man 11. Sorry, I was looking for something. Next one is probably the biggest one for me. <laughs> I had to get this one. I really wanted this one. Um, and I'm planning on getting the, the, the Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu one as well. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was pennied out. Um, yes, this was literally the last copy in the store and I had to have this book. Um, there's two employees at my job. Yes. Th thank you, phone. Thank you. I heard I heard something saying two o'clock. I'm pretty sure it was my computer actually saying that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, come on. There you go. Because I'm on my phone right now. Um, as I was saying... Uh, Employees at my GameStop like to collect guidebooks too, and they don't leave them for us. They just take as many as possible, and so they gotta think for us, other employees. But whatever. Um, yes. So Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon guidebook for sure, 100%. Um, I need. I just had to have this. I, I have every single guidebook of Pokemon related. That's main generation, and I I need, I need to let's go Eevee and Pikachu. It's it's a it's a done freaking deal. Like it's 100% needed. So. I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, so yeah, big one for me. Pokemon Ultra Sentiment. For Nintendo 3DS, by the way. Alright, so. Yeah, okay. Alright, I think these are all the oddball, all the oddball ones. I believe. Well, I mean, there's one Wii game, but I'll leave that one alone. So. Huh. All right, mm, make a sure, make a sure. Okay, so this one is literally a straight up oddball. I actually found this one at Swami the same day I found the Sora action figure. This is Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2, the new challenges, but this is a Sega Genesis game. Yes, of course, but this is the interesting part. Yes, it's in, bo it's in box, but it's a Japanese port. I'm, I'm not even shitting you. It's, it's literally a Japanese port. I'm not sure if it's a reproduction. I don't know much about Japanese Sega Genesis games. Um, I was just shocked that it was there and I got it for $2. Um, it was, I could tell it was a storage guy. I didn't know what the heck he had, but I don't even know how much this is, but I, I, I had to have it. It was $2 freaking dollars. Why not? 
Um, are you, I already own that on the Genesis, but you never can go wrong with that. So, uh, next we have here is Loco Roco for the PSP. Um, I got this from Game Changers here in Utah. I mean, I'm gonna go to their store a little bit more often because uh, all the newer games I 100% wanted and I can't wait for has basically been out. There's only one more game I have to get in February, which I feel like would be a good time to start collecting again, hardcore. Uh, which is Jump Force. Right after Jump Force, I'm ready to go again. Um, so, yeah, Loco Roco. Uh, PSP. $5, yes, I got it for $5. I think it was like $4.19 actually, but whatever. Next is a game that actually is free at GameStop because it's pennied out too. One of those penny out things. This is the game. This is Chicken Blaster. Yep, Chicken Blaster. So Chicken Blaster, I don't know, it, it looked weird, so you just blast a chicken for, I don't know, for free. So, Chicken Blaster. <laughs> this one I never heard of. Uh, me and the person at Game Changers, another game guy from Game Changers, believe that this was a remake of a game from the NES. This is Rygar, The Battle of Argus. I hate those those subtitles. So I don't know why they always make those subtitles. They always sound dumb. Uh, the Battle of Argus for Rygar. I don't know. I know Rygar is an NES game. Um, $5, I think it was. I don't know much of it other than I've never heard of it, never seen it, how to get it, so part of the collection now. <laughs> uh, next here is something I've actually been looking for for the Wii. I had a few opportunities, but it was never a complete copy. It is Final Fantasy uh, Crystal Chronicles the Echoes of Time. Uh, this also came out on the Nintendo DS. It was only one in the Wii version. Don't really plan on looking for the DS version unless I just find it happily and it's like a super cheap, I'm buy it. But other than that, I've been looking for this, and again, thank you to Game Changers because they post what they get recently on their Facebook page. So, again, thank you. So, it was like when he posted it, I was like super nearby. I was like, yes. So, next we have here is Titanfall 2. Um, I think I got it because it was uh, buy two, get one free on, yeah, it was buy two, get one free or something like that on some games at GameStop and. I just happened to get Titanfall 2 on the Xbox One. The reason why is because I already own Titanfall 1 on the Xbox One, so it made more sense to get on the Xbox One again. So Titanfall 2, that's the only reason why I got it. So. Because it's just dropping down in price, even though I know the game got better, but it's just dropping down in price. Next, this is a big one actually. This one's actually a very big one. I didn't even know they had it on the store. They didn't post it yet, so it was actually first dibs. This is, uh, Persona, Shin Megami Tensai Persona 3, not the F FES version, which um, this is the complete first version. Because um, with art book, soundtrack, and the video game, uh, I already own the FES version, so all I could do is just put the FES game in there and get like uh, a PSP, a PSP, a PS2 game that has like double like thing, a double. Um, this colder, so I just throw my FES in there and just say this is my complete Persona 3 collection because <laughs> really that's what it is. So, um, yeah, very excited I got this. So, thank you again to Game Changers. Um, I, 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 I don't know his name, the person that's, that's always there selling, but um, hopefully, uh, he's having a kid, so hopefully it's gonna be okay. Um, because I know he's scared, so that's a little topic, but um, if you're here in Utah, Game Changers, uh, State Street 32 or 33 South across the street from the theaters you'll know what I mean pretty good store go check it out um, next here we got is Yami Yugi uh, pop figure this one of course I love Yu-Gi-Oh I went all the way up to Yu-Gi-Oh not 5Ds no yeah it was 5Ds yeah 5Ds 5Ds the fourth one, third one? The third one, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds was the last one. Uh, I paid attention and I stopped after they got to uh, Zexel and Arc 5 and all those other ones. And V-Reigns. I know V-Reigns now, so. Um, but I, I just stick with those. So I got Yu-Gi-Oh! of course. He's going to be in Jump Force, so go check that out. Uh, on the 12th, I believe it is. 19th? I don't know. But um, yes, I had to get it. I had to get this Yu-Gi. So. Pop figure. And... and, and and I'm not, I'm someone that doesn't collect pop figures. I have a few, but these are ones I actually 100% adore. We got Shadow the Hedgehog, Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3, Mickey, Agumon, and uh, Gabumon. And, and that's my only 
pops next to now, Yugi, uh, Yami Yugi, a Tim, which nobody calls him that name, but still. Okay, so this one's an oddball. Um, I got it for uh, a cheap price because. So, someone was trying to trade this into GameStop. We couldn't take it in um, because it was scratched. So this is what I did. I told him it scratched and everything, and I told him in a way, "Hey, I'll, I'll do it. I'll personally love to have that game myself." And in, in a good way, I kind of said it in a like, did it like, "Hey, I didn't mean to tell you to sell it to me. I meant like it personally, you know. I meant to like, you know, it looks like a fun game. I wouldn't want." So <laughs> he sold me the game for literally five dollars. Is all he wanted because it wasn't even that because of the scratches and all that so I took this to Game Changers and they actually hooked me up got it for free and now it works and I have the freaking the exact sticker that was gonna be on the freaking Shadow of Mordor that is what it is it is Mint Earth Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition yep alright other than that this is a beanie which like I'm wearing one right now but I'm taking I'm this one out because I like it more. So this is a Dragon Ball Z related beanie, thanks to my manager Ash, catch up for Palatown. Yes, <laughs> um, he knows I like Dragon Ball Z, and uh, he asked if I could have it, and I was like, thank you, really. So um, this is of course a beanie for Dragon Ball Z. It says Capsule Corp on it. Bulma's uh, working company name. So yeah, Capsule Corp. That'd be so cool if a company actually makes something like that on a capsule. I mean, people do that. That'd be pretty cool. So I'm just saying that. Alright, next. Alright, so. This is something I've had for a while. But I decided to do it anyways because of. Um, I, I got the guidebook when you saw it. So, the box itself. Um, this is basically <laughs> something I had for a while, but I didn't get the game until now. This is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. The game, the bundle thing that came with like a uh, Pokemon card or something. I don't know what it was. Uh, 200 balls for the game. I don't know. Why do you care about having 200 balls and Pokemon? I don't, I don't care. Whatever. So the games, they're sealed because I bought them brand new and I just threw them in here. That, that, that's seriously, I just, that, that's it. That's it. I bought the games. I threw them in the box. I had this box for like almost a year. No. Sort of, actually. Almost. No. I don't know when I got it. I, I was the same time I got uh, this box. Same time I got this box. I like this 3DS XL. But I don't have the 3DS XL. I don't have this. Not this one. But um, I like the box, so I took these boxes. I think I took another box, I can't remember what it is. But we were just kind of throwing them away. So, yeah, basically it's complete without the cards or whatever supposed to be inside. So, I'm okay with that. It's fine. They got, they got that. So. Alright, um, let's put that here. That works fine. Okay. Um, let's see. I always try to make these videos short, but it never t t turns to be out that way because I always talk a lot. Next, we have is, uh, oh, actually, you, you actually already seen these if you pay attention to my Ultimate Shadow Topics, which this is a Ultimate Shadow Topic video anyways. Um, this is the trilogy of games of the last games of the year I bought. Um, these are actually the ones I was kind of talking about, but like, you know, certain things I bought without being in December. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Snoopy's Grand Adventure, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for Nintendo Wii U. Uh, like I said, I thought these were my last ones officially, but I didn't know that Darksiders War Master Edition came out on the Wii U, so now I need that. And uh, the last time I checked, there was no s stores in Utah that even had it or even had it complete, so... One more, one more to go. But that game is pretty cheap though. It's like a $10 game on the Wii U, so just $10. So it's not like $40 fucking dollars or like that, like Sonic and whatever, so. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. This one um, actually went to another GameStop to go pick something up. I didn't realize I was gonna find this game. Um, and I didn't even know it existed. And this is one of those, I didn't know it existed for the Wii, 
But I need to have it because now I know about it. <laughs> like, this... The Wii is always interesting for me. Why I'm always learning about games I don't even know I need it for the Wii. Like, Rygar over here. <laughs> um, this is Soccer War, So Long My Love, from NES America. Uh, and I, NES? NIS America. And, um... Again, I don't know anything about this game. I got it, I think it was like 20 or less or something like that. Uh, they always try putting super sick rings. I don't know why they do that, but they do. I hate when they do that to me. I'm like, like, I work for you guys, and I don't even like doing that for them. People. Anyways, so yeah, it's in here and everything, so. Um, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you, but, um, yeah, I just wanted it, and I didn't know it was a game until now, so. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. Let's do... Let's do these. Let's do these. Okay. Alright, let's do these. So, these are some pretty top dollar games that came out this month that I really wanted in January. So, we have here is, uh, no... Oh my God. Well, it is technically. Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Now, uh, for a long time, I kept calling it No More Heroes 3. Technically, it is the third game in the franchise, not the third game in the series, story-wise. I don't know. And um, I just wanted this game badly, and I was so excited. And I saw a review. I still wanted it for sure, 100%. I didn't know it came with season pass when you uh, pre-ordered it, so pretty cool. Um, Travis Strikes Again, I think it was like $40, but I was pretty excited just to get it. And of course, I'm going to support uh, Grasshopper uh, manufacturer and Unreal Engine was powered by this. That's, that's pretty fucking cool. I love Travis, Travis Strikes again. I love the No More Heroes franchise. I actually use that main theme song, I believe, in one of the recent videos of like uh, topics, but I, I don't remember what it was. So, so there's that one. Uh, next one here is the Skyo One Complete. Um, for the Switch, there's actually something I, I wanted to pre-order myself, but then I realized it was a $50 game at, on new, which isn't bad, but it kind of is if you already have it. Like, three other fucking times. <laughs> PSP, DS, and PS2. Different types of remakes. Complete makes it all those three games I just said into one game itself on the Switch. So again, that's why I really wanted this. Um, and it was very cheap because it was pre-owned. Employee, uh, membership, a lot of it may go down, so I had to get this for sure. So, the Skyo 1 complete. By the way, if you've never seen the anime, go watch uh, the Skyo. You'll like Lohartle. Just on his weirdness of being a like, You know what I mean. Oh, you'll watch it. So, the next one is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. This was the first game of the year I bought, uh, brand new, that I wanted from GameStop. And it's here, and I haven't opened it. <laughs> um, actually, uh, they promoted this during the Xbox uh, E3 2018 conference, but yet everyone's been buying for PS4 and, and Nintendo Switch. Yeah, same thing with Jump Force is going to happen. Same with Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't know why Microsoft does it, but they do it because they want to please us. But you know what? I got to say, I honor you guys for doing that. So. All right. Next one here is a anime. This one I actually been kind of wanting to get for a long time. This is a legendary anime. Um, and this legendary anime, if you don't know, it got a complete overhaul Blu-ray collection and it was like $80 at release. And I was like, no. So they finally dropped it to $40. This is Code Geass collection. This is the Code Geass uh, Lee Locha of the Rebellion and Rebellion R2. So I call it the Code Geass Collection. There is apparent rumors or officially there's going to be a Code Geass 3 at some point. I don't know how or when. But this is the complete collection as of right now. So I just had to get it. Um, I got it from Best Buy. So it's the same price I found out later on in FYE. But I got it from Best Buy. Okay, now I believe that is all except for the main one. Okay, here we go. We got here is Knack. Got it for free because it was a buy two going free on stuff at GameStop. 
I was like, I'm probably never gonna get this game. I'm just gonna fucking no, actually no, no, no. It was not part of the buy two game free. I got so I bought it separately because it was super cheap. So, knack. Knack, yeah, knack. Next here, uh, this was a mishap at a different game stop into Willow, which is like a 40 minute drive, and I never been to that store, and I finally been to it. Uh, so, first day of the year, <laughs> literally first day of the year. Um, this is Destiny 2. It's sealed. I, it's just. That's it. I got it for like seven dollars, whatever it is. So, that's me too. Yeah. So the reason they they messed up on the price on that one because they never took off a certain sale that was like before, but they still have to honor it because it's still on the price tag. So, next is Berserk and the Band of Hawk. This one was a buy two going free. Um, it's based off the anime. Um, I, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> uh, I haven't even seen it myself. I know it's an anime. Next is God Wars. Uh, features feature pass God's God War feature pass. I don't know. It sounds weird to me saying it. So this one was like ten dollars at my store. Uh, I got it because I I knew it was kind of expensive and it just dropped in price. So I was like, yeah, God Wars. Uh, this one I didn't even know it was even out in America yet. This is The Witch in a Hundred Night Two. I was actually a big fan of the soundtrack in the first game because I got the f album to the first game on a PS3. It's also on the PS4, by the way. And um, I, I like the gameplay, but I didn't really play much of it. But this is with on, The Witch in 192. So I just wish there was a soundtrack to this one, too. Um, listen to Dear Metalli Matilda or something like that uh, on the soundtrack of Witch in 191. I like that song a lot. I don't know why, but I do. Next is. Uh, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. This is actually this, uh, this, a game I picked up at the same time as that Soccer Wars game I found for the Wii. So, and I think I was trying to do the by 2 going free as well at that store. I believe that's why I got this. But uh, it was something actually I was wanting. I was going to get this officially on the PS3. Again, it was one of those. I didn't know it came on PS4, so I got it on PS4, and it was actually cheaper than PS3 for some reason. So I was like, okay. All right, next is Gundam Versus, another buy two going free. Gundam Versus, because the last month or whatever, or it was the other month, I can't remember, I got new Gundam Breaker, so I was like, you know, it was it Gundam for uh, Gundam Forces, Gundam Versus to um, complete the Gundam stuff as of right now for the, uh, for PS4. So I was about to say Nintendo Switch. So, yep, Gundam Forces. Oh, Gundam Versus. Versus. Oh, yeah, this one was free. All right, here we go. This is a brand new game that came out as well. It's kind of disappointing, but whatever. It's Onimusha Warlords, Onimusha 1. Uh, this is a remake, remaster, I should say, of a PS2. Basically, it was just uh, HD. That was, that's it. It's HD. It's not, like, re-remade. It's just hd -ed. It was it was, uh, it was upscaled to HD. That's it. 100%. It's $20. That's it. That's why. So. Um, next is a game I actually got from Best... No. Amazon, Amazon, there we go, Amazon, and uh, I saw it on Cheap Ass Gamer on the Twitter, Video Game Deals, and um, I saw that they posted this, and it was like, you can get this game, Fists of the North Star, Lost Paradise, for $20 through Amazon, and you know, like, I was thinking, I'm gonna do that, I, I'm gonna get this game from Amazon, and it took like a week or so just to show up, and I was like, I kind of forgot about it, and I was like, oh, it showed up, so I got... First of the North Star, Lost Paradise. Okay. Alright, then here's the next two. Probably the two biggest titles next to uh, No More Heroes, uh, Travis, Travis Strikes Again, and um, Tales of Des Tales of Vesperia, the Blue Edition. I can't talk. This is Resident Evil 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. As you can tell, you, you can see which one I've been playing. And which one has not been opened? <laughs> um, I played a demo to Resident Evil 2. It's actually already up on YouTube here on this channel. Go check it out. Um, I don't have much experience or much nostalgia for Resident Evil, but I know it's one of the best games in the series. Next to four, a lot of people would say, and then there's like three, and then I don't know. Five is like super mixed. Everybody hits six. Love people. Love, love, love people. Love people? A lot of people, yeah, love people, but a lot of people love Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. Um, I don't know about how people feel about the first game, other than it's just iconic, and yeah. So, yeah, that one. And then Kingdom Hearts 3, I played 
like literally the first two hours of the game, I haven't got much further because I went into a depression-like mood, and uh, I I know everything that's gonna happen in the game. <laughs> Um, I'm in no rush of playing it. I, I mean, I am playing it, but I'm in no rush to like finishing it. Um, I don't know exactly everything, everything of what happens. I just know how it ends and who shows up and and everything, including the secret ending final cutscene, hinting to certain things I cannot say. So, um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm biggest release of the year. It's gonna be for sure top ten. That, that's that's guaranteed. Top ten is already right here in my hand. Of the year, 20, 2019. Well, I'm saying, I'm calling it. I'm not saying it's be the, the the one, but it's top ten contender, 100%. It's 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 it already has its slot in, in ten, like for right now. Because I don't know, maybe Resident Evil 2 will be up there. I don't know. Um, I gotta see for the rest of these games. Like Jump Force is coming out, and um, whenever Bayonetta 3 wants to come out, whatever else games are coming out. So yeah, that that that's it. That's all the games. Um, for that, that, that's everything for the month of uh, January 2019 so yeah that, that is it um, so again thank you for watching I, I can't tell you how what I'm getting next month other than you see some you know little ideas right here don't 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 look at the Star Fox and the Pokemon. That's just actually been there. You've seen those in the past. Um, but as of realistically, that's that's kind of it for everything that I got in the month of January. So uh, besides that, I guess thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and see you guys all for the next uh, Pikachu video for February 2019. Um, it might be a little bit, might be a lot. But we'll find out and see. Until then, everybody, see you guys later. Okay? Bye bye. Chaos Control!